I'm going to show you how to do stop motion using the stop motion effect on TikTok. It's important that your phone doesn't move for the whole process. So I recommend a tripod if you have one. This one is nice and low and I like it because it's close down to the product. So it makes the products look a little more heroic. You can use one that is a little taller if you have a tabletop tripod like this. But I'm going to use my shorter one. To start a TikTok, I'm going to press 15 seconds. Look in your effects and you're going to look for the stop motion effect. It looks like this. And now you're going to tap start. Flip your camera towards your products. And what I'm going to do is march these things in and jump them into the box like that. So I'm going to start with nothing in the frame. You can choose music. There's music in here already, so I'm just going to leave that. But you'll see here it says zero frames. And you'll want to pay attention to that because each time you tap the screen, it's going to record a frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is tap the screen to record a blank frame. Make sure you don't tap the record button. You want to only tap the screen. So I'm tapping. Now I'm going to start to move my products into the scene. Each time I want to record a frame, I just tap the screen. And then I move it a little further in and you can see that it shows you the previous frame. You can see it hazy over here where it was and you can see where it is next. So I'm going to tap the screen again and I'm going to keep moving it in a little further and then tap the screen. You'll see it's recording. Each time I tap the screen, it's recording another frame. Don't tap the record button because that will mess you up. We're going to move it again, moving them in. And each time I move the products in, I take my hand out before I tap the screen. So my hand is not in here now. My hand is out and I tap the screen. Move it again. tap the screen and you just keep going I'm gonna put this almost like it just got into the box tap the screen and you can continue to see what's happening it's adding the frames up here so we're up to eight different shots this is just a pro tip it's helpful to use the same hand that's moving the products and tapping the screen because you want to make sure you take your hand out completely before you tap the screen so that your hands not in the stop motion <laughs> Okay, so it's good to use one hand if you can. So move the product, tap the screen. Move the product, tap the screen. This way you're never recording your hand in the frame. Now I move it into the box. Be very careful not to move anything else in the scene. So I'm just gonna move one in first, tap the screen. Now I'm gonna jump the next one in. Tap, tap. Let's bring my next guy in, tap the screen, this guy a little closer and this guy a little closer, tap the screen. And each time my hand goes in, but it's not recording when my hand is in. It is only recording the frame when I tap. And then I take the last one, tap the screen. And if I want to hold on this position a little longer, because the next thing I'm going to do is shut the box, I can just tap a few extra taps so it stays on this frame for a little bit and then I can start closing the box. So I'm going to close it very gently, <laughs> tap the screen very gently. Make sure when you tap the screen it adds a frame so you don't miss anything. Tap, oh, tap. Now I'm going to go very carefully and make sure this box doesn't move when I shut the last thing like that. Tap the screen. I want to hold on this frame for a few, so I'm just going to tap a few taps gently. One, two, oh, two, three. And then for my final shot, I'm going to move the camera and I will only move it at the very, very end. You don't want to move the camera at any point except when you're done. <laughs> oh, it just recorded something. So I'm going to tap, 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 tap. And only when you've completely recorded all of your taps, here's the big moment when I'm going to press the record button. Ta-da! And then you can stop recording because it's just recording it on a loop. Okay. Once you have it recorded, it's a good idea to save it to your phone. So you can press the little arrow and save this. 
It's important if you have that save button to save it to your phone. So this way you can use it in other apps or you can attach it to another video if you wanna do an explainer and then attach the stop motion. So it's really helpful to save it before you post it. And if you wanna know how to do this without the TikTok effect, I'm going to demonstrate that in my free beginner editing workshop. Check it out, see you there.